So this was the previous clamp nut I made, it was ground down using my Dremel, it was a bit too wide and too thick, so that was cutting away the edges either side there. So this is a bolt that I found out of a, a Craig featherboard and it's slightly more suited to the Bosch track, so it's got the right width here but it's just a smidgen too thick, it's about 1.89 millimetres and it needs to be about 11.8 so I'm going to try grind it down with the sander so we'll see how that's done That's 1.77 and 1.74, so we'll give that a try in the track and see how that goes. So it's just still a smidgen too, too thick, so sand it down a little bit more. The one thing I found was that this wasn't grinding uh, exactly horizontally there, so what I've done is I've just stuck a hole in a block of wood and I'll just use that as a guide and we'll see how we go with that. Okay, so we'll see how that goes now. So now to attach the bolts to the clamp head, like that, I need to drill two holes through, through the clamps. So now I just have to find a position for the second hole. So I think the easiest way I've found so far is just to go up through the drill bit sizes. Yay! Finally through. Okay, so we'll try assembling this now. So the bolt size on these is a quarter of an inch. So now that's the clamp finished. So what I should be able to do is just slide that. In under the end. Okay, so that's catching on there and it's releasing it whenever that's coming up. So I can think of two solutions to this problem. If you're clamping a thin piece of stock, you want the distance between here and here to be about the same thickness as your piece of stock. So what you could do is just glue on a piece of wood onto the top, just like that, and that would work. The other thing I'm thinking of, if I just take off that bottom bracket, I'm just wondering if that'll be stiff enough and secure enough with just the one hole to hold that on. So I'm going to try that out. Here we go. 
So oh, that's kicking out a little bit there. It does appear to be holding. So it looks like a success. So if we go back to the design where we've got something to stop it from twisting, so the two hole approach. And we remember what the problem with this one was, when it goes up, this lever was catching on the bottom bit of the steadying bracket. So what I came up with to fix this one is It's just a, like a 3D printed, 3D printed block, so it kind of mimics the cap here, and that could fit on the top. So that would just slide on like that, and you can just make that out of a piece of wood. All it needs is just a piece of wood. It's just glued on top of here, or screwed into it. So that just fits on like that. And now that gives you the ability to clamp material up to this thickness here. And you could always lower that down a little bit as well. Next I'll just double check this is 6mm all the way along. So now what I've done is I've just bolted these together into a T-section. So now we'll see if these are going to slide into the track. So that slides lovely. The idea I had was that I was going to wrap that metal around there and that metal was going to stabilise it but I'd found that I'd bent this the wrong way and what it should have been was bent the other way and I found that this metal doesn't really bend um, too well without snapping so I'm going to scrub this idea uh, and go into my next idea that I had. So like before I just screw two brackets on top of a piece of wood and then I'll lower that down and cut along 6mm of material. These will still be really hot. So let's just give these a quick file down. And you also want to make sure you just file off these uh, sharp points here. So this is a clamp extension that I printed out. So you have this bottom section that mimics one of the feet and the top section just mimics the top of the clamp. So I can just slide that on and I've put a bit of tape there just to get a little bit extra friction so it stays on. One thing that I liked about the design of using these things here was that this should hopefully spread the load on the on the track a bit more and be less likely to be pulled out with such a small surface area there. So the initial idea I had here was to put one of these on here and wrap some of this metal around the back and that would stop it pivoting like that because when it pivots like that it doesn't have any clamping force and it just doesn't work. So what I did was, if you were to uh, 3D print a disc, but you can easily just use a, a, a piece of uh, rectangular wood and just drill two holes in there for that to slide on top. So that would go onto the hole at the end of the clamp. And then I'll just place those here. And just grab some M4 
bolts and maybe just slide through I think I'd probably stick some washers on but I'll just stick these nuts on for the time being So now that means you can clamp any thickness of material and the lever for releasing the clamp isn't going to bind on that and also that isn't going to pivot because the hole through there stops that. So I just have to see how that behaves on the track. So now the moment of truth, will the clamps work. So they're sliding in really well. There we go. So the clamps stay steady and it's not um, it's not bending out at an angle. So it's worked really well. So summing up, this is a design I like best. It was the easiest to make. You just have to take these one millimeter pieces of angle steel. These are they're, they're 40 wide by 25, 25 tall with the holes that were already drilled pre-drilled in there, it meant it gave enough clearance for the track part up here. It was really hard to drill that second hole, I wouldn't really advise it. I think I knackered a couple of drill bits drilling through that. If you wanted to make this piece here out of wood, again that's quite simple. Rectangular piece of wood just with a slot drilled through and two holes going through. And again to make an extension bit so that this doesn't collide with that. That's quite simple as well. You can just glue a piece of wood onto the top. The total cost for this set of clamps would be about $15 Australian. It was about $10 for a pair of clamps. The angle bracket, they were about 60 cents each. And I had some existing bolts, but they're not very expensive to buy. Cheerio!